All right, people, it's Rob Rogers. Welcome back to the medical education video series. We're going to do a little uh, snippet on how to put together a podcast. I've asked Mel Herbert to do a little thing for us on how to get started in podcasting. For those of you interested in becoming a podcaster, uh, educator in emergency medicine, listen to this very carefully. We'll have much more on this in the future. Mel, take it away. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I've been asked to give a two minute spiel about how to get into podcasting. What do you need to get into podcasting uh, from a medical point of view? Well, first of all, most importantly, you have to have the enthusiasm. This is a really fun thing to do, but it turns out actually to be quite a lot of work, quite a lot of work to get it set up and get it going. Now, in terms of uh, all of the things you need to get it set up, that's pretty easy now. You can do a Google search on how to podcast, and there's many places it'll tell you the exact stages that you had to use. Uh, do that. But in terms of what you really need, first of all, the energy, the enthusiasm, and you've got to have the idea that this is going to go for a while. There's two types of podcasting in my mind. There's the ones that go every week, every month, and that's good if you've got enough content, and it turns out you run out of content very quickly if you're not careful. You've got to keep feeding the beast if it's going to be a monthly or weekly podcast and don't miss any because people kind of get bored with it and move on. You can also, though, say, look, I just have six lectures that I want to put up and uh, maybe I should just do six at a time or just do six and that's it. That's another fine way to do it if you've got a set sort of thing and message you want to get out. That's also okay. Or you can link with some other people that can put it up there for you. There's another big branch point as well and it's audio and video. Audio is pretty easy now actually. You can go to a lot of places on the internet and buy a kit basically. Buy a nice microphone and a mic stand and a mixer and take it into your Mac or your PC and do a little editing on it. And that's pretty simple and the barrier to entry in terms of cash is not that much, a few hundreds of dollars. If you want to do video then, uh, much more difficult. Video, the cameras and everything that you need in the mixing, if you're going to do it well, costs a lot more money. You can keep it simple, you can do a one camera shot like we're doing here and that kind of stuff. But as soon as you go beyond the very basics of video, the cost is woohoo, swing, exponential. So um, that's the key thing. You know, audio, is it video, is it short, is it long, is it ongoing, is it not ongoing? And then the next thing is just general. That what it takes to be really good at this, and I don't claim yet to be really good at it, I hope in the next few years I get really good at it. What it takes is practice, practice, practice. And what it takes is listening to people who are really good at it. And the people who are really good at this stuff, NPR, the TED conference, uh, some stuff you get on uh, public television, great presenters who do a great job of both the audio and the video. And I start with NPR. I think NPR is the best, the best at this stuff. They really have superb short segments, long segments. You can't learn to do this anywhere better than you can from NPR. So if you're into this stuff, start listening to NPR. If you want to do it, start simple. Start with audio and uh, get it onto iTunes right now. That is the behemoth or get a website, but you've always got to get it on iTunes if you really want people to listen to it. You can always email me. I try and help people as much as I can. I don't have as much time as I'd like to help people. Rob has become an expert. He can help you. Um, I think the more people in emergency medicine that are doing this, the better. We are increasingly considering ourselves an aggregating site, trying to find the best people at this stuff and bring it together. But the way you get good at it is that you practice, 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 practice. Some of our residents now are doing this and this is part of their sort of residency training for the four years that they're with us. So practice, 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 listen to NPR. There are a few quick pearls I could tell you much more about it, but that's all I've got time for. If you're going to do video podcasting and you don't have much hair, I do suggest that you wear a funny hat. Bye for now.